Selamlar çok sevgili hepiniz hoş geldiniz bugün sizlerle beraber ne oynuyorum Stanley Perebel Ultra Deluxe oynuyoruz evet yanımda kimse yok yanımda Twitch chatim var Twitch chatinin size şurada çok selam var siz Twitch chatinin parçası olmak isterseniz aşağı Aşağıdaki Twitch açıklama kısmından linklere tıklayabilirsiniz sadece Twitch yok tabii ki bunun Instagram'a da var YouTube'a da var Discord'da var her yerde gelmeyi unutmayın evet eğer ki bu tarz videoda beğeniyorsanız da abone olmayı merak etmeyin ve yorum yapmayı da unutmayalım şimdi oyuna başlayalım hadi Arkadaşlar bir kişi deyip geçmeyelim bu arada bir kişinin çok büyük bir ee, farkı var çok büyük ee, ne denir ora benim için çok önemli bir kişi bir kişi çok önemlidir İşte bu Stanley isimli bir adamın hikayesi Stanley büyük bir binada Stanley büyük bir binada firma için işçi 420 milyon olarak çalışıyordu peki İşçi 420 dediğin işi başladı de 420 de o numaralı odada masanın başında geçer ve kralik tuşlara basardı Emirler masandaki bir monitörden gelir. Peki, ona hangi tuşa ve tuşlara basacağını, hangi sene ne kadar süre basacağını da söylerdi. Hmm. İşte bu. İşte 427'nin her yılın, her ayının, her haftasında, her günü yaptığı işti. Ve başkalarının bu işin ruhunu öldüreceğini düşünse de, Stanley sakin bu iş için yazılmış gibi emirlerin geldiği her defasında bir hazırlıyordu. Ve Stanley mutluydu. Sonra bir gün oldukça garip bir şey oldu. Stanley'i sonsuza dek değiştirecek bir şey. Asla unutamayacağı bir şey. Monitöründe takip etmesi gerekli. Yaklaşık bir saattir masanın başında oturuyordu. Evet. Hiç kimse onu ne yapacağı işleri göstermek için toplantı çağırmak. Hatta merhaba demek için bile gelmemişti. Allah Allah. Bu firmada çalıştığı yıllar boyunca hiç böyle bir soyutlanma yaşamamıştı. Allah Allah. Bir şeylerin ters gitti oldukça açıktı. Hadi bakalım. Şoke olmuş, donup kalmış. Bir şekilde Stanley kendini uzun süre hareket edemez halde buldu. Ama aklına başına getir, gelip algıları tek açında masanın başına kalkıp ofisinden dışarı çıktı. Oh, çok hızlı. Çok hızlı. Hemen şunu ayarla. Ee, kamera hassasiyeti 3 yap. Çok hızlı. Oh, tamam. Sadece Murat üçüncü ayını kutlamış bu arada selamlar da bir çocuğum sadece Murat desteğin çetirimi için üçüncü ayı kutlu olsun hoş geldin. Evet bu ne kahve ne diyor? Pazartesilerden nefret ediyorum yazıyor ben direkt anladım onu hangar çeviri yazmışlar şuraya. 427 tamam tamam tamam tamam bastım böyle bir şey yok biraz daha azaltmak istiyorum şunu tamam, tamam. şimdi daha güzel oldu galiba evet. Rockçu ikinci eli kutumuz seni sevmek ibadetin bu aralar cenabetin bu gün vardı gördüm bunu. <gülüyor> çok güzel yapmış. Rockçu çok teşekkür ederim ikinci eli kutu olsun hoş geldin. Pınar 100 bitli bilmiş ben de geldim iyi eğlenceler demiş çok hoş geldin Pınar desti 100 bitli bilmiyorum desteğin için çok teşekkür ederim. Tontişko 1000 bitli video olmuş iyi oynar demiş çok teşekkür ederim Tontişko desteğin için yatırım için hoş geldin sen de sabahlar getirdin 1000 bitli bilmiyorum için hayvani desteğin için çok teşekkür ederim. Evet 428'in olası kapalı 429'un kapalı. Tüm iş arkadaşları gitmişti. Ne anlama gelir abi? Hmm. Bir notu gözden kaçırmış. Nota bakalım. Not var mı not? Not. Not var mı? Allah Allah. Allah Allah. Ben hala çok hızlı olduğunu düşünüyorum. O ya çok hızlı lan bu. Ne bu? Bu bardak konuşuyor. Hadi lan oradan yalancıya bak. Kapalı gitti. 424 ne yazmış? 420 bir şey yazmış. Aç aç. Niye kapattın? Aç aç. Bir şey yazıyor okuyamadım. Her şey çıkıyorum. Oh. Sörneyim akses kapat kapat kapat. Elektrik faturası gidiyor sonra çok. Sonra çok elektrik faturası gidiyor. 435'in bilgisayarı çıktı. Ona gideyim tamam ona da, ona da gideyim o zaman. 435. Ha onu da kapattım. Bardak üstüne yazı bile çevirme çok ince işlik helal olsun evet. Helal olsun hangar çeviri çok teşekkür ederiz. Helal olsun. Helal olsun. <gülüyor> ha, peki. Resim. Pazartesilerden nefret ediyor tamam. Kilitli. Kilitli. Kilitli. 
Burada bir şeyler yazıyordu. Sen iki kapıdan oluşan bir yol elime geldiğinde sondaki kapıdan girdi. Tamam sondaki kapıdan gireyim. İrem Cikri hoş geldin. 413 412 Kapalı Ah! Toplantı odası galiba. Tamam burada da kimse yoktu. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Hmm. Ha, pazartesi haftalık hediye bilgisi, pazarlama pazartesileri, 451'in özel zamanı. Ben kaçtım lan? Ben kaçtım? 427 miydim? Kaçtım ben? Sakın yazı atlarsın, görevli danışmadan değiştirmeyin. Değiştireceğim. Değiştireceğim. Kazançlı değil. Standart grafik, 404 genişlikte. Alihan ikinci eli kutlamış. Ben hemen uzun zamana gelirim. Böyle zemin inşallah unutmuşsun demiş. Alihan mutluluğumuz olur mu? Unut, unutur olur muyum? Neyse ne. Çok teşekkür ederim. Alihan desteğin için yatırım için. Hoş geldin. Heh. Heh. Yüksek faiz. Ona. Aa. Projeksiyon. Ne kadar kaliteli projeksiyon lan. Gölge olmuyor. Oha. Kapattı. Süpürge dolabı açıldı. Süpürge alayım. Stanley stepped into the broom closet, but there was nothing Ama orada bir şey yoktu. So he and got o da arkasını dönüp aksi istikamet ilerlediyor. Bir şey diyeceğim. Bir şey diyeceğim. Bu beni zorluyor. Bu şerefsiz beni zorluyor. Baba baba. Baba. baba bu süpürge odasında bir şey var. Baba bir şey var. Bir şey var. Bir şey var. Stanley'in hala süpürge durumunda oturuyor olması şaşırtıcıydı. Var var. Var var bir şey var. Siktir etçilik oynuyormuşum her şeyi. Evet oturacağım böyle tamam. Var bak. Bu bant. Yokmuş. Sen, sen hala süpürge durumunda mısın? Ben de mi de okuruşu lan? Ne oldu gıcık mı kaptın? Oturacağım abi. İşim bu süpürge odasını biraz kestirmek istiyorum. Sana ne lan? Sana mı soracağım? Hala oturacağım. Ha ben de konuş adam. Stanley walked past the broom closet. At least she would have had a reason for exploring it to find out. But it didn't even occur to me because literally this closet has absolutely no significance to the story. Var oğlum bir şey var. İnat ettim. İnat ettim sana ne? Aa. Bak bu. Maybe to you this is somehow its own branching path. Maybe when you go talk about this with your friend, you'll say, "Oh, did you get the broom closet ending? The broom closet ending was." O ne? Süpürge dolu sonu favorim ne? I hope your friends find this concerning. Bir şey var. Bir şey var. Beni çık çıkartmak istiyor. Ben kalacağım burada. Bekleyeceğim. Bekleyeceğim. Stanley was fat and ugly and really, really stupid. He probably only got the job because of a family connection. That's how stupid he is. No old gizik mi oldu? No old. Bekleyeceğim ki, bekleyeceğim ki. Well, I've come to a very definite conclusion about what's going on right now. You're dead. You got to this broom closet, explored it a bit, and were just about to leave because there's nothing here. When a physical malady of some sort shut down your central nervous system and you collapsed on the keyboard. Well, in a situation like this, the responsible thing is to alert someone nearby so as to ensure that your body is taken care of before it begins to decompose. Hello, anyone who happens to be nearby, the person at this computer is dead. They have fallen prey to any number of your countless human physiological vulnerabilities. It's indicative of the long-term sustainability of your species. Please remove their corpse from the area and instruct another human to take their place, making sure they understand basic first-person video game mechanics and on the history of narrative tropes in video gaming, so that the irony and insightful commentary of this game is not lost on them. All right. When you've done that, just step out into the hallway. Hayır, hayır, hayır. Kalacağım, kalacağım. Kalacağım. Gıcıklık değil mi abi? Kalacağım. Konuşmaya başladı bende. 
Küstü galiba bana. Bu sürgede bir şey var. Ve benim bir şey çıkarmaya çalıştı yani. Bilal hoş geldin. Yübütür hoş geldin lan. Anasını kimmiş. Anasını kimmiş. Çıkıyorum ya tamam ya. Al. Ah, second player. It's good to have you on board. I get you too. Unbelievable. I'm at the mercy of an entire species of invalids. Perhaps there's a monkey nearby you can hand the controls to. The fish, fungus. Look, you can hammer out the details. I'm not particularly picky. I'll just be waiting for when you're ready to pick up the story again. Coming to a staircase. Oh, no, the shit is this. Yukarı çıkan merdiven. Aşağı ineceğim lan ben. İttik değil mi? Aha, not. Alamadım şu. Bu ne? Tovaş. But Stanley just couldn't do it. He considered the possibility of facing his boss, admitting he had left his post during the hours. He might be fired for that. And in such a competitive economy, why had he taken that risk? Oh. All because he believed everyone had vanished. His boss would think he was crazy. And then something occurred to Stanley. Maybe, he thought to himself, maybe I am crazy. Yo. All of my co-workers blinking mysteriously Yo, out of existence in a single moment for no reason at all. None of it made any logical sense. And as Stanley pondered this, he began to make other strange observations. For example, for a let's see his feet when you can see the hunger of the automatically by one mark. And for that matter, these rooms were starting to look pretty familiar. Were they simply repeating? Has he come This is all too strange. This can't be real. And at last, he came to the conclusion that had been on the tip of his tongue. He just hadn't found the words for it. I'm dreaming, he yelled. This is all a dream. Oh, what a relief Stanley felt to have finally found an answer, an explanation. His co-workers weren't actually gone. He wasn't going to lose his job. He wasn't crazy after all. And he thought to himself, I suppose I'll wake up soon. I'll have to go back to my boring real-life job pushing buttons. I may as well enjoy this while I'm still lucid. So, he imagined himself flying. And began to gently float above the ground. Then he imagined himself soaring oh! in space on a magical star field, and it too appeared. It was so much fun, and Stanley marvelled that he had still not woken up. How was he remaining so lucid? And then perhaps the strangest question of them all entered Stanley's head. One he was amazed he hadn't asked himself. Hey, ne? Why is there a voice in my head? Dictating everything that I'm doing and thinking. Evet. Now the voice was describing itself being considered by Stanley, who found it particularly strange. I'm dreaming about a voice describing me, thinking about how it's describing my thoughts. He thought. And while he thought it all. Abi, ne konuştum? Ben konuşamadım senin yüzünden ya. All people in their dreams. The truth was that, of course, this was not a dream. How could it be? Was Stanley simply deceiving himself? Believing that if he's asleep, he doesn't have to take responsibility for himself. Stanley is as awake right now as he's ever been in his life. Now, hearing the voice speak these words was quite a shock to Stanley. Oh! He knew for certain, beyond a doubt, that this was in fact a dream. Did the voice not see him fall to make the magical stars just a moment ago? How else would the voice explain all that? This voice was a part of himself too. Surely, surely, if he could just. He would prove it. He would prove that he was in control. Oh, Fallam, ne konuştun? So he closed his eyes gently, and he invited himself to wake up. Hayır, hayır, salak mısın? Sen hayır. He felt the cool weight of the blanket on his skin, the press of the mattress on his back, the fresh air of a world outside this one. Let me wake up, he thought to himself. I'm through with this dream. Salak sen ya. I wish it to be over. Let me go back to my job. Let me continue pushing the buttons, please. It's all I want. I want my apartment and my wife and my job. 
Uh -huh. All I want is my life exactly the way it's always been. Uh. My life is normal. I am normal. Sıradansın. Everything will be fine. I am okay. Ne oldu? Bitti mi? Stanley began screaming. Ah! Lütfen benim evimi öğrensin benim adım Stanley Bir patronum var bir ofisim var benim gerçeğim Lütfen birisi bana gerçek olup söylesin gerçek olup benim sizi de yaparım ben kimim kimim ben kimim ben And everything went black This is the story of a woman named Mariella Ağzına tükürüm bu ne hepsi mi oyun ya Mariella woke up on a day like any other She arose, got dressed, gathered her belongings, and walked to her place of work. But on this particular day, the walk was interrupted by the body of a man who had stumbled through town, talking and screaming to himself. Did you think we should not stand there? Did you see on the sidewalk? And although she would soon turn to go call for an ambulance, for just a few brief moments, she considered the strange man. He was obviously crazy. This much she knew. Everyone knows what crazy people look like. And in that moment, she thought to herself how lucky she was to be normal. Hmm. I am sane. I am in control of my mind. I know what is real and what isn't. It was comforting to think this, and in a certain way, seeing this man made her feel better. But then she remembered the meeting she had scheduled for that day. The very important people whose impressions of her would affect her career, and by extension, the rest of her life. Allah. She had no time for this, so it was only a moment that she stood there, staring down at the body, and then she turned and ran. Ölmüşüm lan. Ha. E ölmüşüm. Bitti mi? Oyun bitti mi? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Oha, bu iyi son. Then he decided Oo. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Oo. Stanley went around touching. Bir dakika oyuna yeniden başlayacağım bir şey deneyeceğim. Slapper 3. yeni kutlamış. Çok şişeyim Slapper'ın desteği için yatırım için. But Stanley simply Ay, couldn't handle the pressure. What if he had to make a decision? What if a crucial outcome fell under his responsibility? He had never been trained for that. No. This couldn't go any way except badly. The thing to do now, Stanley thought to himself, is to wait. Nothing will hurt me. Nothing will break hmm. me. In here I can be happy forever. Forever. I will be happy. Forever. Stanley waited. Hours passed. Then days. Had years gone by? He no longer had Yanlış the ability to tell. Saat. But the one thing he knew for sure, beyond any doubt, was that if he waited long enough, the answers would come. Eventually, someday, Bekler, they will arrive. Gelecek, soon, very soon now, this will end. He will be spoken to. He will be told what to do. Now it's just a little bit closer. Now it's even closer. Here it comes. Ne geliyor? Ne geliyor? Gelmedi bu kadarmış. Ezgi de hoş geldin. Evet böyle sonmuş. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Aha. Ah. O son ölüm çok kötüydü. O aşağı taraf çok kötüydü. When Stanley came to the meeting room, he was told to go to the meeting room. Ben şimdi sağa gelen gitsem ne olacak? This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Ee? Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, evet. just to admire it. It didn't. San, görmek istem, istiyorum. Bak, kim sağ taraf nasılmış? Ah, yes, truly a room worth admiring. It had really been worth the detour after all, just to spend a few moments here in this immaculate, beautifully constructed room. Stanley simply stood here. Drinking it, but eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Hoş geldin Jacob. Bu ne? 
And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Allah Allah. Bitti mi? But Stanley didn't want to go back to the office. He wanted to wander about and get even further off track. So now in order to get back, he needed to go along... Uh, uh, da, da, da, da, da. From here, it's... Um, left. Sağ yok mu sağ? Sağ yok mu sağ? Sağ yok mu? Oh no. No, it's to the right, my mistake. Ha. No, no, no, no, not the right. Why would I have ever said it was to the right? What was I thinking? Let us see. Clearly... Oh dear, would you hold on for a minute, please? Eh. Eh. Seçtik. See, we went down right, left, down. Nere, nere? Left, right. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. Okay, okay. Yes. I've got it now. This story is absolutely definitely. Kasım abi neresi? Kesinlikle burası değil bu arada. Bu ne abi? Burası değil. Kesinlikle burası değil bu arada. Yanlış yere soktu beni. Ka Kasım abi beni yanlış yere soktu. Ondan no, no, no, no, no, no, no, no. This isn't right at all. You're not supposed to be here yet. This is all a spoiler. Quick, Stanley, close your eyes. Okay, okay, okay, okay. We just. We no just to, to, um, oh, who am I kidding? It's all rubbish now. The whole story completely unusable. How about I waste my time trying to salvage this nonsense? We'll just restart the game from the beginning. And this time, suppose we don't wander so far off track. Nane. Okay, from the top. Şerefsiz beni oralardan izliyor. Ha ha. Tüm iş arkadaş gitmişti. Bu ne anlama gelebilir? Tamam. Tamam şunu kapa. Toplantısına gitmişlerdi. Tamam bunu kapa. Kapatayım. Tamam. Tamam. Tamam gidiyorum. Soldan gideceğim. Tamam her dediğini yapacağım. When Stanley... Wait. Wait. What? No one... No, I restarted. I swear, I definitely restarted the game over, completely fresh. Everything should be. Oh, did something change? Stanley, did you change anything when we were back in that room with all the monitors? The monitor, Abi. The story somewhere, or a. The story, Abi. Why am I asking you? I'm the one who wrote the story. It was right here just a minute ago. I know for sure that it's here somewhere. Okay then, it's an adventure. Come, Stanley. Let's find the story. Bir bok anlamadım. Soldan gideceğim ben. Sen abi buradan demiştin bana ben buradan gidiyorum. Sen bana buradan demiştin ben buradan giderim abi. Kayboldum. Kayboldum. Kaybolmadım. Tamam. Kayboldum. I'll say it. This is the worst adventure I've ever been on. I can promise you, there definitely was a story here before. Do we just do we need to restart the game again? Well, I find it unlikely that we'll ever progress by starting over and over again. But it's got to be better than this. Olur valla. Dur bir dakika. Şurada bir şey var abi. Why not? Abi dur şurada bir yer vardı. Allah Allah. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it ne anlama gelirdi ki? Evet. Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Hemen gidiyorum oraya. Şimdi oraya gideceğim. Libido! Okay, yep, it's worse. I might be remembering this wrong. It's possible the story is back where we just came from. Why don't we go back the other direction and see if we missed anything? Evet, bakalım. Olur. Olur. Görkem Efe 510 bit gibi dönmüş yüz sınavların bitmesine gelsin Emir bu Emir geçin hemen o sansın bir sınavı demiş o çocuğum Görkem Efe desteğini çatırmış hoş geldin Yuf Hayvani destek Bunu kapa Bunu aç bak orada açık kapı var buraya gidebilsem oraya Bunu kapatayım Bunu geç Aha I knew we'd missed something The story 
Here it comes. Ne hikayesi geliyor abi? Çabuk söyle no, bize. Wait, story. Okay, let's head back the other way and retrace Olur. our steps. Al onunu satayım. Bu ne? Now this. Well, I'll be honest. I don't recognize this. Bunlar senin hikayenin değil mi Kasım abi? I don't think so. I can't quite recall, but I believe my story took place in an office building. It, is that correct? Hayda. Do you remember Stanley? Hayda. Do you know what? Since I've completely forgotten what we were supposed to be doing, how about this? O yüzden başladım. Ah! Congratulations! Kazandım. I know you put in a lot of hard work, and it really paid off. So, good job. Kazandım. Oh no. No, Olmadı. I don't feel right about this at all. We both know you didn't put in any actual work for that win. Sarı Some people were not one of those situations. Okay, I'm getting weirded out by whatever this place is. I don't care what might happen this time. I have to restart. Et yeniden başlıyoruz yine. All right, I've got a solution. This time to make sure we don't get lost, evet. I've employed the help. Of the Stanley Parable Adventure Line. Just follow the line. How simple is that? Tamam, hatta takip ediyorum. Tamam, tamam. Vallahi dinliyorum bu sefer seni. Vallahi dinliyorum. You see, the line knows where the story is. It's over in this direction. Onward, Stanley, to destiny. Tamam, tamam. Kaderim burası. Wouldn't wherever we end up be our destination, even if there's no story there? Olur. Or to put it another way, olur. Is the story of no destination? Still a story. Simply by the act of moving forward, are we implying a journey such that a destination is inevitably conjured into being by the very manifestation of the nature of life itself? Whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa, whoa. Hmm. Ne abi ya? That got a bit weird. Back then. Garip oldu, evet. Well, I'd like to apologize. Not sure where I was Bak, going. Şey bir daha you know what? I think what we need right now is a bit of music. Olur, to olur. Ne, ne veriyorsun bana? Müslüm Gül sesi mi? Bu ne abi? Böyle müzik mi verildi? Bu ne ya? Wait, cut the music. Go back and look at that fern. Aşk merdiveni neresi kız? This fern will be very important later in the story. Aşk merdiveni ne? Bu mu? Make sure you study it closely and remember it carefully. Bu mu? You won't want to miss anything. Aşk merdiveni hangisi? Bu mu? Kaçırma dedi bana. Hangisi? Merak ettim aşk merdiveni ne? Uydu galiba. Neyse. Tamam. Tamam. Peki. Wait. But we're back at the office? No. No. No. Line. You do know we're looking for the Stanley Parable, right? The story? Is any of this ringing a bell? Oh, no, no, no, no, no. Not again, Line. How could you have done this to us? And after we trusted you, after everything we've been through, you... Well, I can't take this anymore. Bunların hepsi işçiymiş. <gülüyor> Onların hepsi. You know what, ha, bitkin adı. Ha. Forget the adventure line. What's it ever done for us? We're intelligent Hiç people, right? Evet. Why can't we make up our own story? Something exciting, daring, mysterious. All. This all sounds perfectly doable. Why don't we simply start wandering in? Well, I don't know. How about this direction? Now. Yes, this is exciting. Just me and Stanley forging a new path. Yeah, and look at that exactly. Anything. What do you want our story to be? Eee. Use your imagination. Şövalye olmak isterim. Whatever it might be, Stanley. Dık dık dık dık. I'm ready for it. Orta çağda yaşamış bir şövalye. İsmim. Oh, no, not you again. Uh. Stanley, I'd also like to veto the line from having any role in our awesome new story. No lines or monitor rooms. Just don't acknowledge it. We should be fine. Tamam kabul etmiyorum. Tamam. Ben sana hikaye mi anlatıyordum ya? Ha gitti. Bu ne nere? Ah, a choice. We get sol. to make a decision. Sol sol sol sol. The story is in our control. Hadi. How important we must be the opportunity. In fact, I believe I need a minute to think here. Just walk in circles for a minute. Okay. So I know that each door has to lead somewhere, which means that somewhere at the place where we're trying to go, there must be a reverse door that leads here. And that in turn means that our destination 
corresponds with the counter-inverted reverse door's origin. So starting from the right, let us ask, will taking the right door lead us to where we're going? And since the answer is clearly yes, then by all accounts, the door on the right is the correct one. Another victory for logic. Come, Stanley. Our destiny awaits. Ah, ben bey bilet oldum. Ben bey bilet oldum abi. Who's been me at now? You don't know. Şaşırtmanın son diyor abi. Hmm. Hmm. A confusion ending. You're telling me that's what this is? It's all one giant ending. And we're supposed to restart the game what, eight, eight times? That's really how all this goes? It's Oğlum, en iyi soru buldum lan. So now, according to the schedule, I restart again. Then what? Am I just supposed to forget? En iyi soru oh, buldum. What if I don't want to forget? My mind goes blank simply because it's written here on this this thing. Whoa. Bu da buraya çıkmış ya. Well, bu da buraya çıkmış. Why don't I get to decide? Why don't I get a say in all of this? Is it really? No, it can't be. I, I don't want it to be. I, I don't want the game to keep restarting. I, I don't want to forget what's going on. I don't want to be trapped like this. I won't restart the game. I won't do it. I won't do it. I won't do it. And the time to stopped. Does that mean um, did we do it? Did we break the cycle? The um. Whatever it is that made this schedule, how would we even know? Will someone come for us? Will something happen? So, okay. Yeniden başlayacağız. Guess now we just wait. You know, I suppose in some way that this is a kind of story. Wouldn't you agree? I'm not quite sure if we're in the destination or the journey. Though they're always saying that life is about the journey and not the destination, so I hope that's where we are right now. We'll find out, won't we? Eventually. Well, in the meantime, if you. Alan. Yeniden başlattı. Oh, sonunda basit sona geldik. Yüzü cestleri. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. Seni dinleyeceğim Stanley. Çık yok Kasım abi. Seni dinleyeceğim ben. Tamam. Pis hoş geldin. Seni dinliyorum abi. Sen ne dersin o? Ne dersin ona abi Kasım abi? Ne dedin? When Stanley came to a set of two Aynen öyle yapıyorum. Aynen öyle yapıyorum. Sondaki kapıdan giriyorum. Aynen dediğini yapıyorum. Senin dediklerin aynısını yapacağım. Yet there was not a single person here either. Yes, feeling a wave of disbelief. Hiç yanası gelmedi herhalde. Bazı yaptılar bunu uydular. Sen fazla ofisine gitmeye karar verdi. Thinking he might find an answer there. Tamam. Gidelim. Süper güdüler abi. Oh no! Oh no! No! No! No! No! No! No! No! No! No! Not again! I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything more. I'm just going to be here and wait for you to finish whatever it is you enjoy doing so much. Tamam tamam tamam tamam. Please. Tamam tamam. Yo yo yo tamam tamam. Tamam tamam çıktı çıktı. Tamam. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Yukarı gidelim tamam. Bir daha yapıyorum. Kapat bakayım. Kapat mı? Ben kapatıyorum sana. Özel tuvalet. Bu neymiş? Hislerim var çalmak için para ama tabi seninki değil çünkü bu zorbalık olurdu. Oyuncu sana hoş geldin. Sabun. Burada bir şey yokmuş. Burada biri mi yürüdü? Allah Allah. Ya şey kutu estağfurullah ya. Hayır misiniz ya? Ooo. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he did not know was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him, and so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 
But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code by sheer luck. Amazing. He stepped into the newly opened Oh, yeni yol. Gidelim mi abi? Gidelim. Burası neymiş? Allah Allah. Depo mu burası acaba? Hazal hoş geldin. Şans sabala buldu ya Stanley. Şans sabala ya. Atlıyorum dedin mi? Kasım abi atlıyoruz dedin mi? Ha. Karpeşen, karpeş, karpeşen koş gelin. Descending deeper into the building. Stanley Stanley kendi biraz Doğru hissediyorum. Stirring of emotion in his chest. Tek bel kalmıyor Free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. Niye biz Niye ben? Neden ben? Düşünüyorum. Niye? Ne yaptık ki biz? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Tam tuttum kendimi. Tam tam tuttum. Ben Kasım abi dinleyeceğim dedim. Dinleyeyim. Tuttum kendimi. Tamam. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. Aa, ulan gel bura aa! Did this place hold? Stanley thought to him. Şuradaydık daha demin biz. Şuraya gelmiştik. Şuradaydık biz daha demin. O kamera. Now the monitors jumped to life. Their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building. Stanley's co-workers, the lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Hepsini buradan takip ediyormuş patron. Hepsini buradan takip ediyormuş. İşçi bilmem ne, işçi şu falan diye hepsini takip etmiş. Sensör. This mind control facility. It was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Bildiğin zihinleri kontrol edeceğiz. Doğru. Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? Bizim sanki de 427 miydi? Bak bizim kibi. Bak bizim kibi. Bak kim nasıl gözüküyormuş. Çok kötü. Kötü çok kötü durummuş. Gidelim. He refused to believe it. He could not accept it. Hayır. Yönetilemem. Bir başkasının kontrolü altında olamaz benim hayatım. It was unthinkable. Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it possible? Was it Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Bir bok anlamadım. Bir bok anlamadım. Hiçbir şey anlamıyorum şu an. Zihin kontrolleri boşta girdi bekliyor. Girdi bekliyor. Hayır. Zihin kontrolleri boşta girdi bekliyor. And when at last he found the... <gülüyor> Diyanix 3. ayın kutlu olsun. Hoş geldin. Sana ötkenci kalbi. Evet şöyle olduk. Ne yaptım ben? Blackness. Karanlık. And a rising chill of uncertainty. Bir bir Was it over? Yes. Kazandık. He, he had defeated the machine. Unshackled himself oh. from someone else. Ne yaptılar kapatıp? Freedom was mere moments away. 
And yet, even as the immense door slowly opened, Stanley reflected on how many puzzles still lay on the world. Hala daha bir şeyler anlaşılmıyor. How had he been freed from the machine's grasp? Evet. What other mysteries did this strange building hold? Evet. But as sunlight streamed into the chamber, he realized none Allah of this mattered etmesin. to him. For it was not knowledge or even power that he had been seeking. Allah kahretmesin. Perhaps Çezemedik. his goal had not been to understand, but to let go. No Çakta merak etme ama yani sen de. Evet. What to do or how to feel. Kimse bana söylemez artık Whatever ne yapacağım. Whatever life he lives, it will be his. Aynen tercihlerim beni ilgilendirir. Kimse şey yapamaz. It was perhaps the only thing worth knowing. Stanley stepped through the open door. Atayım. Abi ben atıyormuşum oha. Bir şey diyeceğim. Burası yalan. Bir şey diyeyim mi? Burası yalan. Burası... Stanley Neymiş? felt the cool breeze upon his skin, the feeling of liberation, the immense possibility of the new path before him. This was exactly the way, right now, that things were meant to happen. And Stanley was happy. Kazandık. Oyun bitti. İşte bu da böyle. Bu işte böyle yapılır. Çok sevgili YouTube. Stanley Parabell'ın bir bölümünün daha sonuna gelmiş bulunmaktayız. Eğer ki videoyu beğendiyseniz abone olmayı, like atmayı ve yorum yapmayı unutmayın. Bay bay. Görüşürüz. Hoşçakalın. Kalbimle